where to use this component diagram. So you are going to discuss on this aspect. We have already described that component diagrams are used to visualize the static implementation view of a system. That means when the system is getting implemented, what are the required artifacts and how they are getting related and how they are contributing in the development of that application that will be depicted in this con uh, component diagram. Component diagrams are special type of UML diagrams used for different purposes. So this component diagram cannot be replaced by any other diagram because it is having a specific dedicated purpose. These diagrams show the physical components of a system. To clarify it, we can say that component diagrams describe the organization of the components in a system. Organization can be further described as the location of the components in a system. All these components may not be residing in the same machine. This component may be also the distributed one, distributed into multiple computers and those computers are connected by some computer communication network. These components are organized in a special way to meet the system requirements. As we have already discussed, these components are libraries, files, executables, DLLs, applets, ActiveX components, might be some other executable codes, modules, etc. Before implementing the application, these components are to be organized at first. We should identify what are the components we require in the development of that application. And this component organization is also designed separately as a part of the project execution. So as a part of the project execution, this is a specific task to decide what are the components are requiring in our software development process. Component diagrams are very important from implementation perspective. So thus the implementation team of an application should have a proper knowledge of the component details. So implementation team should be knowing that what are the different components and what are the purposes of those components which will be utilized in our development. So where to use this component diagram? So here you see these component diagrams are to be used to model the components of a system, model the database schema. So this component diagram will be also helping us to model the database schema, model the executables of an application and model the system's source code. So what is the source code to be written? Say we are supposed to uh, say implement one application using Java. So what are the different Java files we are supposed to write, we are supposed to code. So that will be uh, will be will be having the idea in this component diagram. So let us suppose we are considering one ATM transaction. So ATM is one component and here you are having multiple other components are there like your cash dispenser which will be referred by this ATM transaction. There is a card validation. So we know that whenever we uh, do some transaction through our debit or credit cards, we are supposed to give some PIN and that PIN will be verified with the respective ATM network with the respective database server to check whether this pin is valid and matching with the with the uh, with the card number and all and then we are having this card reader which will read the card and get the card related information onto the system so these are the different components which will be used in our atm transaction so that is one example with the help of which also we have discussed that how this component diagrams are playing role in the software development process and where we are supposed to use these component diagrams. Thanks for watching this video.